One of those. Do you remember when you were a kid? Like your, your parents said, don't make me stop this car. You kids better knock it off. That kind of crap. I just did one of those with Billy the Hedgehog. He's a, he's a, he's a tiny, he's a small pit bull. He's tiny, he's real light, he's fast. He likes a dummy launcher a lot. I'm gonna do the dummy launcher with him. The dummy launcher is powered with the 22 caliber construction load. Leave it, Bill. And um, we're using a higher level with him because he's he's pretty good. And we're also um, doing it in this gra in the, the real grassy area, which um, it makes it a little bit more difficult for him to find. He won't have any trouble with this though. This bird's chirping all over the place. Seriously. Here, Billy. So I want I want him to uh, wait until I release him. Get a fucking heel, dude. Sit. So he has to sit until I release him. No. No. No, Bill. You cheated. Not pissed. It's being sort of naughty. I'll get him on the next one. You better knock that off, Bill. You want to play, you better play by my rules. Drop. No, drop. Man, you want to play? Knock it off, dude. Sit. No, sit. No. No. Billy. It's Billy the Hedgehog. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy the Hedgehog. It's a tiny freak. Here, heal. Now he'll sit, drop. Billy's good at a lot of things. He's good at frisbee. He's a really, real athletic little dog. No, sit. No. No. Bill. No, it's a. Not real hot out, but you know, you don't want to anything over 70 be real careful, you know, because he has to retrieve this in his mouth. And remember that, like, that's how that that's how the dog cools down. Sit, drop. So, we are doing retrieves. Remember, your, your dog is a sprinter, not a long distance runner. So, we're going to give Bill a little bit of a break here. Billy, back up over here. Sit. Give him a few minutes, although he's not breathing heavy. He's like, um, not breathing heavy at all. Hear that bird? Listen. Could be a grouse. Hear that? It sounds like a woodpecker. I believe that's a grouse. To make the noise, they got like these air sacs. No. Like they do it in the spring, it's a, it's a mating call. Most animals are mating in the spring. It's rutting season for the deer. Birds. It's easier. Like with the birds, like, you know, they got to keep the egg warm. If it's winter, it's more difficult for sure. It stopped. I do think that was a grouse. Yep, that's a grouse. That's, that's another grouse calling back. People hear that, they think, oh, it's a woodpecker. It's not. It's a... Um, it's a grouse. What the F? No, it's not a woodpecker, it's a grouse. It's a grouse. Like the 
air sacs create that sound. He's not a woodpecker. It's grouse. There's, there's two of them. There's two of them. I'm gonna hear one, and then the other one's at a, at a, at a distance, the female's at a distance. You have a grouse in your yard? No, you don't. You don't have a grouse in your yard. I said, that's a common mistake. People think it's a woodpecker, that sound. It's not. It's a grouse. You, you only hear it in the spring, too. And you go in the woods, and you'll hear them all around, you know? If you sit there turkey hunting, you'll hear them, and like, it's, I, I understand why people think it's a woodpecker, it is not. Maybe it is a woodpecker then. It's not a woodpecker, man. I told you, it's a grouse. Oh, you mean in your yard? A, a grouse isn't gonna be around people, one. It's not gonna be in your yard. A woodpecker you would see, it's on the side of a tree. And this kind of woodpecker that you're talking about that would make that sound has a big red head. You cannot miss it. A grouse is a ground bird. No! Billy's obnoxious. It's similar in sound, I will say that. Sit. No. No. Billy.
I know it sounds like a woodpecker. I went over there to make sure it is not a woodpecker. A woodpecker, the woodpecker that does this, does that sound as big and has a red head. And we do have them in this area because there was one last, no, it was two years ago, sit. They pretty much destroyed a tree and the tree had to be removed. It was beautiful. It was right over here. I'd, it was just, you could walk up to it. Like the woodpecker isn't too flipped out or, you know, it just keeps doing it. As long as it's up in a tree, you know, see a person and ignore them. The, uh, the grouse, on the other hand, as soon as I walked over there, it knew I was over there. They shut up. You could be walking in the woods and never see a grouse. So you could be walking right by them and they won't move. You have to have a dog to go grouse hunting. Billy? Because they're, they're, they blend in so well. And then like the only noise that they make is in the springtime is that freaky shit that sounds like a fucking woodpecker. Um, I wish we had more of those big red-headed woodpeckers because they're fucking beautiful. And that's the, we have downy woodpeckers, which you see all the time. And those are the real small ones, and they don't really make a noise like that. The, for it to make that kind of noise, it has to be the big ones with the red head. Uh, like a real big ones. It's like a bird like that's like that long. Um, the downy woodpecker, you know, they, they, we, we have a lot of those around here, but they don't really make noise like that. But the big red-headed woodpeckers, man, they will destroy a fucking tree. And I'm not sure why we don't see more of them, but we, we don't. They are here. Um, you know, occasionally I'll see them. You know, their fucking flight is fucking fucked up. But I mean, it's a, it's a bird that like, can be on the side of a tree to do that. It's fucking crazy. But the, the grouse, if they're making that noise, you usually, you're only going to hear them like, from this time until a little bit after turkey season, you know, that, that's when they do their mating in the spring. But you'll be, you'll be turkey hunting and you'll hear that all around you. Like there, there's a lot of grouse and there's a lot of grouse you just never see. And you can sort of tell how many grouse are in the area when you're turkey hunting because you'll hear one over there, you'll hear one over there, you'll hear one over there. It's, um, it's a, it's a hard bird to hunt, I'll tell you that. Like, um, without a dog, good luck. A lot of walking um, and not a lot of luck. Uh, that's, a, that's a whole thing about grouse hunting. It's kind of an extreme sport. They, they like heavy cover. So you gotta get a dog that'll go into heavy cover, a dog like Tonka. And um, they, just, they just hide well. They hide well and they won't move. You could be standing right by the damn thing and walk by it and never know. Um, but the, it is it is weird when they make that sound. Like I, I know it sounds like a woodpecker. It's not. No. Billy the fucking hedgehog. I uh. I didn't really eat anything. Well, I did. I had a cold hot dog, and a piece of cheese been an extent of it. I felt like obligated to do the dummy launcher with Billy because he likes it. I was going to take him to the woods. Um, I, I got to work Lutzy some more. I'm not taking Lutzy to the woods, that's for damn sure. Lutzy has to learn to pay attention. See how it just shut up? The woodpecker you can't miss. Like seriously, you, you, you couldn't miss because it's got that bright head and there's no leaves on the trees right now. So if it was here, you would see it. We would see it. We're not. I haven't went over there. Because it is it is similar, but there's a lot of grouse in this area. There's, there's a lot of grouse here. I remember the first time I heard that. I, I said something like, oh man, there's a lot of woodpeckers here. And, Oh, those are grouse, you know. There she is, toxic, toxic Sheba.
Brooklyn, all your friends are okay in Brooklyn. I don't know. I uh, texted my nephew and haven't gotten a response. What do I like about the country? I like the country. That's what I like about it. Come on, the city? I like the city because you could just go outside, feel like you, you know, you don't get cabin fever because you gotta go over to the store or something and you see people. Here, I make a point of it to go outside and drive around, go to a store, just to, you know, it's, it's more, it's quieter here for sure. It's easier with the dogs, that's for damn sure. Up and down the steps all day in Brooklyn, Jesus Christ. I was only on the second floor, but it was a bitch. When I, when I first moved to Brooklyn, I was in a, on, a, on a fifth floor walk up and it was fucking horrendous. It's real nice out. No. I was planning to get out here earlier with the dummy launcher. I did not. I did work lots in. I guess baby's seeming like she's compliant. Take her out here, see how she does. I'll bring a leash with baby. I also gotta, um, when I come out here with Gus, I'm gonna bring a leash because Gus is not waiting. You know, Billy didn't wait one time, but Billy waited the other times. So with, with Gus, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him in the down position with the leash on. I'm gonna step on the leash, do the dummy launcher, take the leash off and then send him on his way. He's out of practice. Right, Bill? Saw Bill's mom today in a video. She's a full on pit with the cropped ears and everything. It's crazy. And then, and then you got this little freak. It's clearly a, a pit of some kind. There's like a... It's Billy the Hedge. Right, Billy the Hedge? No, get the fuck, get the fuck off me, brother. Sit. What's everybody doing? Destiny wanted to go get paint somewhere. She said either today or tomorrow. It's nice today. It's gonna be warmer tomorrow, but raining. Debating what's better. I don't know what she wants to get, what kind of paint. Billy the Hedge. Billy the Hedgehog. Been watching that um, old reality show with the Playboy Bunnies. It's interesting because, you know, there's so much, no, so much bullshit about Hugh Hefner. Like, you know, it didn't sound like he was the upstanding guy he pretends to be, which isn't a shock. You know, he was into some weird stuff. I just would see him like in his, you know, on shows or whatever. I just thought he was a joke. Come on, give me a fucking break. Stupid smoking jacket and ascot. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're a real player, dude. He's fucking 80. It's too hot to go to the tennis court. What's the name of that tennis game? It's not paddle tennis. It's like... No, dude.
Billy the Hedgehog. He's a hedgehog. Interesting fact, this is kind of an offshoot of the Playboy subject. I believe that was Ron Jeremy's nickname, the Hedgehog. Why, I don't know. God. I'm so sick of the winter. It sucked. It's over now. Right, Bill? That's the, that's the nice thing about the winter is like, you know, it makes you appreciate the spring. If you live in a state where it's sort of all, the temperature is the same all year round. I need to go get fish oil for the dogs. This is the dummy launcher with Bill. I'm tired, man. I can't seem to wake up. I got a lot of shit to do today, too, so it's not ideal. That's what I like about hunting, is just being in the woods and not saying a thing. Hey, listen to the birds. I thought about going turkey hunting because turkey season's almost here. And I don't think I'm gonna do it. Just gotta sit there without a dog. Who wants to hunt without a dog? Sounds like a big dog. Billy. I hear a robin. There's a lot of robins that come here. You can have the month and the hummingbird show up. I'll have the hummingbird feeders up for them because they traveled a long way. Definitely. I might even go get some oranges for the Baltimore Oreos. Because they're fucking amazing looking. They look like they should be in a jungle. The, the color's just so vivid, it's just incredible. Sitting out here in the sun, god damn it, I've missed this. Seriously, I've missed it so so much. There's a big crow. I'm telling you, I think I've seen. I, you know, there's not supposed to be ravens in this area, right? But I know there are some because I've seen them. I don't get it. They're not supposed to be here, though. Right, Bill? What if Billy just bit my nose off right now? Billy, would you, would you do that? Would you bite my nose off? I had a boxer do that to me once. I thought I bit my nose off. It did not. I just fucked it up. Tore some skin off. Put the skin back on. It hurts, it hurt bad. Hit my nose in the wrong area, it was my fault. All right, Billy, let's give Billy another one. No, man, you do that, I swear to fucking God, you won't be doing this. Sit.
with these T systems. Dummy launch is so much better than the piece of crap they tried to sell me. No. No. Chili. You know that 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 piece of crap that they tried to sell me. This was this was too big, so it wouldn't shoot things unless they were uh, the green or the reds or the yellows. No, sit. This, uh, this, this whole everything looked like it was made on a 3D printer. The only thing that was metal was, the, was this. And it looked like they took the measurements directly off of this before they, they printed it. It was fucking garbage. This thing, it's plastic and bendable. You gotta be kidding me. For five dollars more, you get a good one. I couldn't tell. I was just like, "Oh, it's 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 five dollars cheaper." You know, there's another brand that makes a all metal one that's good. I had one of those for years. But this fucking like, you got to be kidding me! No, nobody's gonna want to use a dummy launcher that's plastic. It's real, real, real cheesy too. Like this, like it was just how it was assembled. Like I was just like, "Oh my god, this thing's gonna break." It had no spring here too, which I find real weird. DT systems, they make a good one. You gotta hold it a certain way or you hurt your hand. If you hold it the right way, it won't hurt your hand at all. Now he's finally panting. If, if, if he stops panting in a little bit, I'll give him one more and then that'll be it. Or not. I hear another grouse. It's way up there in the woods. It's way up there. And there's another one that's even farther. The grouse, um, you have to you have you have to walk a long way. You know, it's not like a, like a robin. Like, hey man, would you fucking chill out, dude? Get out of my face. There's ruffled grouse here. There's spruce grouse, they aren't around here. This is ruffled grouse. I think, I don't know, I get confused. It's a grouse. Yeah, it's not a spruce grouse. Those are in like Alaska and shit. This thing is ruffled. Yeah, it's ruffled, it's ruffled grouse. Hey, get the fuck over here, dude. No, sit. No, no. Bring it over here, dickweed. Let me sit down. I feel fatigued for some reason. I feel like drained or some shit. Here, drop. Real drained. Sit on this trailer for a minute. There's shade right there, Billy. I wish they were one of those woodpeckers. God, they're beautiful. There really isn't a very big population of woodpeckers around here. They're here. I was surprised when I saw the one with the, the giant red head. Because it, it is not a common bird around here for some reason. Boy, they will fuck a tree up, that's for sure. 
they want a they want a tree that's already sort of fucking up. So they're looking for bugs and shit. It's amazing what they can do. It is. It's crazy. There's a da da Danny woodpecker that lives in the tree right off the front yard, or it was. It's my neighbor's cat got it. That cat's a fucking asshole. I haven't seen that cat recently. She's good. I don't like that cat. Cats uh, don't need to walk around outside. This is true. They do good inside. And um, you let your cat outside, it's going to kill everybody in like a square square block radius, something like that. Everything. Any, you know, anything it can. Rodents, songbirds, lizards. They're a fucking environmental disaster on like a small scale. They are. The number of birds they kill in the United States a year are in the billions. That's the truth. They kill billions of birds. Songbirds, too. It sounds like they're going after Canada geese. Which there'd be pl there's plenty of those. There's plenty of those because we don't have anything that'll take care of them anymore. There's a lot, there's a lot for waterfowl to eat nowadays. Like those Canada geese, man, they love grass at a park. They just eat the crap out of that shit. It's always amazing animals that live on, like, just plant matter, and they're giant. Like a, like a, a gorilla. They eat leaves, and they get that big. It's all they eat is leaves. Sort of a lethargic animal that just lays around eating leaves all day. It's weird, right? It's weird that it's a vegetarian. It is. Chimp is not a vegetarian. They will hunt monkeys. They will, they will hunt them down and then eat them. They eat a lot of, they eat a lot of plant material, but they also like to hunt. They eat ants. The chimp, chimp will eat ants, termites. The monkey hunting is just insanity. You know, they're, they're chasing monkeys into a tree so that they can get one and get it on a branch and then to, you know, shake the branch or get it to jump where it can't jump far enough and it falls to the ground and they eat it. But I mean, if they got a hold of it, they'd tear it apart. You can't, a human being cannot win in a fight against a chimp. Dead meat. That is the truth. I don't care how big you are. There was that one dude that had his face ripped off. That guy was like 6'6". Six, six. Chimp tore him up. I saw him on like the Sally Jesse Raphael show or something, you know? His face was just mangled. He was blind. They, they, they don't fight fair. They gouge your eyes out and shit. Take that to the bank if you're in a fight and you gotta win, you know? Do what you need to do. They just start, you know, you know, I'm gonna break your jaw. They, uh, I heard some something about like they, like a, a male chimp has like five times the testosterone of a human. That's why they can run up a tree real quick. It's it's insane. It's insane how they how they do that. Like they're just like there isn't a tree around here that the damn chimp couldn't just like get up real quick. Where if we were doing it, it'd be like you know getting in that apple tree was difficult. Right, Bill? Yeah, I planned on walking one of the dogs in the woods. And it's either gonna be Billy or Gus, I think. I don't know why I feel so exhausted, but I do. Maybe I don't know why I feel exhausted. Nevertheless, I'm exhausted. Still gotta get shit done. If 
I went for a day and did nothing, I'm sure. Okay. That's not good. Because then, then you just get behind. The trick is to do a little something, even if you don't feel like doing it. Right, Bill? Billy's a nice dog. There's water over there, Billy. You want to you go get a drink? Let's take Billy over to this creek real quick. I'll take you all with me. Hey, Bill. I, I'll tell you, last night, there are frogs all over the road. I mean, everywhere. Like, they are really out. And at night, man, you can really hear them. Bill, you need water? Go get water, dude. Okay, you can go in there. What do you mean, no? What, are you afraid? Billy's acting like, a, like he's afraid. Come on, Billy, you pussy. You want something to drink, dude? Yikes. There you go. Billy the Hedge. I just like looking at running water for some reason. I don't know what it is. The only thing that would make this cooler is if there were fish in it. There's frogs in this. I've seen crawdads in it. Billy the Hedgehog. I do know I do know what I want to do. See, I'm trying to get enough energy up to do it. Just move this thing into the barn. Or at least go see where I could put the thing in the barn so I could work on it. That's really what I want to do. To give more room to work in the green screen room. That would be awesome. And I could start trying to finish, finish the thing up. Billy. Look at Billy. Bless his heart. Bless, bless that moron's heart. Look at him. He's a real fucking genius. You better leave that alone, son. Yeah, you, that was a smart move, Bill. Billy the Hedgehog. Not, not to be confused with Ron Jeremy the Hedgehog. That's that's a different thing altogether. Here's, here's my setup that I, which I haven't been streaming on um, Facebook. Somehow the app got off this phone. So I was gonna stream the other day and now the app's not on there, so I gotta put it back on. I don't know how that happened. I don't remember taking it off. Who knows? Somebody knows, I don't. Billy don't, Billy, don't say I didn't do anything for you, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I'll just keep muddling through the day. Maybe I'll get more energy. Sitting, if I sit, if I become stagnant because I'm tired or whatever, it just makes it worse, you know? I just force myself to do shit. And then you start doing it.
do like the new dummy launcher. It's the same one as the old one, DT Systems. Billy, get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm not doing that. Heal. Bless his heart. Bless your heart, Billy. Toxic, toxic taught me that. She says they say that all the, all the time down in Alabama. Alabama. That's a southern thing for saying somebody's a moron. Bless his heart. Oh my God, he's an idiot. Billy's not an idiot. He's a dog. Hang on, Bill. All right, I think this is frozen up anyway, so I guess I'm gonna, it's too hot to, yeah, see? This thing gets frozen. YouTube's live stream hasn't been working real good. So anyway, I'll see y'all. I'll live stream again, I'm sure.